Welcome to Simon on the Sofa. Thank you for joining us as always. And today I am uh, very excited and also uh, to be in the presence of two divine, feminine, wonderful women, girls, ladies. <laughs> Look at me. I'm like a child. Um, so, yeah, here, here I'm with today. The <laughs> today I'm with the wonderful Alexandra and Gemma. And uh, these are the girls from Prediction Magazine. Some of you may know them, some of you may not. And uh, we've decided today to have a transparent conversation on a huge uh, topic at the moment. It seems to be coming up a lot um, wherever we are, you know, whether you're into a spiritual journey or not, and it's the uh, divine feminine. If we say divine feminine, what comes up? It's nice to see different aspects of female strength. Um, And I know one of the girls on my course was saying that she's she's quite quiet and she's quite gentle and sometimes she doesn't always feel that you know she can be a loud kind of person to get her point across and one of the things that came up for her was that there is major strength in just being gentle and just being yourself and i just found that so refreshing and that that seemed to be a recurrent theme throughout the whole both kind times of, both, both workshops yeah. yeah which is really lovely and i find that that's sort of something that's coming up for me especially this year a lot of the time I'm I'm sort of instead of kind of uh, the term wading into the fray and you know feeling like you have to fight your cause it's sort of becoming more of a kind of surrender and go with the flow go with the cycles and like which is you know reminiscent of the moon as well and just allow things to happen and you know you can speak your truth from a place of calm and serenity and that doesn't have to be you know, you don't have to shout about it yeah. to be strong. You can yeah. be strong and be soft and be feminine and, and be comfortable in that. Mm. So that to me is is very much embracing your divine femininity, yeah. I suppose. And, and, and divine divine power. Yeah, almost. that's it. Yeah. Mm. yeah. And I think all of that's synonymous with the times as well because we're moving into the Aquarian age. And I think that's such a quintessentially feminine age you know from the piscean raw patriarchy Mm. and hierarchy and structure and knowledge and you know everything's kind of very linear and the aquarian age is defined by this really beautiful surrender and just a kind of voluptuous being it's like a flow isn't it Mm. that real flowing of yeah yeah you're bringing the start you're bringing the stars i don't know i'm not too familiar with um you know the stars and stuff but i'm i'm pisces so um, but in terms oh, it's of, got nothing to do yeah. with it. You're, you're a patriarch. You're so no. masculine, love. <laughs> Bless you. Like, like she said, Pisces. I'm like, oh, man. No. I, I thought I'd feel really good, you know, working on, my, working on my feminine side and being more you're loving. You're in touch with your feminine side. <laughs> oh, you are. Oh, oh you are. Stop it. <laughs>